Graphs are used to show data. There are many types of graphs. In this video, you will learn how to make a bar graph to show a set of data. Some students voted on their favorite colors. The data is shown in the table. The first column tells their color choices. These are the categories. The second column tells the number of votes for each color. To understand how a bar graph works, let's start with a line plot and turn it into a bar graph. Here's a line plot showing this data. On the line plot, the categories are listed along the bottom. Above each one, there's a stack of X's. Each X stands for one student that voted for that color. For example, red got three votes, so there are three X's above the red category. And yellow got zero votes, so there are zero X's above the yellow category. Let's compare how tall these stacks of X's are. All of these stacks have at least one X. That means they all got at least one vote. Since the X's are all the same size, we can say that all the stacks that come up to this line had at least one vote. All these stacks have at least two votes. They all come up to the two line. Stacks that reach this line have at least three votes. This line shows four votes. Here's five votes and six votes. Because all the X's are the same size, we can tell by the height of each stack how many votes that color got. In fact, we don't need the X's at all. We can tell how many votes a color got just by seeing what line its bar reaches up to. The bar above red reaches up to the three. So red got three votes. Let's see what it would be like to add some data to the bar graph. Yellow got zero votes, but let's imagine instead that yellow got five votes. First, find yellow on the bar graph. We would need to add a bar to show five votes. It would reach the line for five. So color a bar above yellow that reaches up to the five. If you could still see the X's from the line plot, how many would there be above yellow? There would be five, one for each vote. A stack of five X's would reach up to the line marked five. To be complete, our bar graph needs a couple more parts. At the top, there should be a title telling exactly what the data is about. In this graph, colors would not be a good title. It tells about the categories, but not about the numbers up the side. Students' favorite colors tells about the categories and also about the numbers because the votes show which is the favorite. Along the bottom, there's a space for each category. The categories have names. We need to add a label telling us what these categories are. In this graph, they are colors. Along the side, there are numbers counting up. The numbers tell how many votes it would take for a bar to reach that high. The numbers count in order and no numbers are skipped. We need to add a label to tell what these numbers are counting. In this graph, they are counting votes. Since the numbers could keep counting up much higher, we should add an arrow going up the side, like a number line. A bar above each category shows how many votes the category has. The bar reaches up to the right number of votes. To make it easier to tell how tall each bar is, lines reach across the graph from each number. In this video, you have learned how to make a bar graph to display a set of data.